Using Avada dynamic content is an extremely powerful way to add content to different pages, posts, or even products on your website dynamically so that you're not constantly having to add that information in. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. So we have the home page of this website and we've got this main headline here. So if we edit this page, we're going to set this title as a dynamic title, which means it's essentially just going to pull the title from this section of the page dynamically. So then if we were to duplicate this page and change the title of the page here, it will automatically populate in this section. So all you do is, you know, we've got this text block here, right, where we've got this headline, Missoula Lawn Care and Maintenance Services. If we click this little stack of circles here where it says dynamic content, if you click that, then you can choose what you want to dynamically display there. So let's say we want to do the title. We can add something before. I'm just going to add something random, something after. And you can even add a fallback. Uh, but now you'll see it just says title. And when we preview this page, it's going to pull in that title. <laughs> Still a lot of care services. One, two, three, one, two, three. <laughs> um, and then we can even center it. We can still choose the design. So say we want the font size to be 50 pixels. We want the font color to be bright red. We can still do all of that and have it pull this content in dynamically. And that's just one instance. You can, you can use dynamic content for a lot of different areas. Basically anywhere where you see these three, the stack of three circles here. So we can even do it here. We could have this content dynamically be the, you know, a custom field, the site title, some short code, author information. So you can place this dynamic content all throughout your website, whether you want to add, like let's say you want to add the author at the bottom of a blog post, you can have the author's name dynamically appear at the bottom of that blog post. And so then that way, each time a blog post is published, the author's name is injected into that content and you're not having to manually go through and add that in every single time. So I hope that was helpful. If there's anything you had questions about in terms of the Avada dynamic content feature, don't hesitate to reach out. You can always just drop your questions in the comment section below. I'll get back to them there. And until next time, Take care.